Okay guys, we are now here in Parenthood Game Pack for the build and buy mode and we are starting off with the build mode and there are several. We have this forest background, this misty forest. We have this tiled um, panelling. And then we have this other panelling. Looks like it's got blocks. So you can see that. You can see this one being for a bedroom. This one being possibly for a bedroom. Then this one for a bathroom or a kitchen. Um, that's all in regards to that. And then we have these two windows. So we have this triple window frame here and this really tall slim frame here that are very interesting. Then we got the personalised kid doors. So there are only three and we have this quite feminine flowery door here. We have stars more possibly rebellious there and then the sporty door there. So we have stereotypically masculine, stereotypically feminine and then unisex. That's how I see that but let's get rid of that then and move on to all the new things. So we have this chair here. So child's bed has got storage underneath. Right, simple. Then we've got this metal framed bed with a quilted quilt um, over the top. It, I quite like the details there, but I'm not sure I particularly like the frame. Then we have this antique de um, chair here that's quite interesting. Then have just a regular old desk chair, dining chair, this wooden dining chair. With then have this stool. From what I can tell, there's, lots, there's a lot of country esque vibes coming from here. We then have, yeah, see, actually says that three seater country couch or sofa. And that comes in different patterns and styles. I can see, get myself quite a lot of use out of that one. And then we have. The same sort of thing, but it's two seat with storage. And you have this wooden counter, and I like the fact that it doesn't take up the whole square, but it takes up about um, half and a bit, I'd say three quarters of it, which I actually really like. Then we have this island counter that's pretty nice and then we have cabinets to go on top we then have this rather old style chair okay so here's another counter this one takes up half so this is an organized table we have this nightstand here with books at the bottom Ooh. And what is this? It's, um, such a square table. I'm um, such a square. No, you're such. Okay, so it's living room table, but it's this one's rather big, similar with that one. Similar things, just different styles. It's quite interesting, but it takes up a lot of space. We then have a kids desk here, 
So you're then getting more into um, where they can do because this desk is smaller than the other double desks. You then have a teen writing desk, which I actually quite like. We then have oh a rather rustic basin. So again, going into the country esque feel of it all. That's quite interesting because the sort of things you see in old styled houses. Let me just filter the pack in. There. We have moving then on to another sink. This is a more modern looking sink um, because it's over a wooden cabinet then we have this curtained shower so um, customized okay so it's got customized cur curtains um, to personalize it more but I wonder if that then also means that you could potentially go in the shower well, someone else can use a bathroom. I wonder if that's now then possible. We then have a private journal. Um, so it increases writing and creativity. Curious to see if adults could use that. We then have the bulletin board. So let me just go back to building. And build ourselves a wall and this allows you to do various things um, as you set curfews and improve things I think you can give them chores through this and etc then have this piece of art there we have more decorations. These are now trees, that's interesting. And we have three set there. We then have posters. So they're music posters. Wonder if. Okay, so then they're ch children's. You've got boy bands. You've got sci fi. You have sports. And void critters. Then have more children's doodles. Then have this vanity mirror here. And we've got a couple of more mirrors. This teen oval mirror. We then have the window valence. So this is something to go over the window. We then have window shears like curtains my special vase ever so it's a little vase made by the children wonder if they can actually make that in the game whether or not that's something specifically for build and buy mode we then have art and crafts box magazines and remote holder so we got toy tub well, that's big. So we've got quite a lot of decorative items that I think could be really, really handy. Then we've got the bathroom clutter. It's got a hairdryer, brush, etc. Makeup trays. So then this is more going into teenage, teenagers, boys, girls, toys, etc. Then have kids clutter. So some children have really messy rooms. I say most. I definitely did, my brother did. Um, so that's to show more clutter. Choose a print rug. So I believe that this. Okay, so it goes through these double layered stripes, these rubber florals, this, this sort of double diamond shape, plants, guitar, whales, more plants. So. Then you got to 
a football or soccer pitch and basketball pitch depending on which sort of sports your one follows and got this large print rug does this one change as well? yes so you can have a couple of different okay more than a couple um, various designs there then have a large fireplace hanging lights hobby board some more boards then we have longer length laundry basket um, medicine cabinet bathroom organizer cabinet so quite a lot of stuff to make your home feel more home make it seem more realistic what do you have here okay so we have a bread bin here that's quite nice little old bread bin we then have um what's that called rack of wood of the dishes okay so that's for dishes knives um like a draining board i suppose then have fruit decorative plate ah uh, is this a toy or no it's a little night light that's really sweet i can see myself putting that in can't zoom in any closer it's really sweet and then we have what's this we have doctor okay so now we have a playset so this is the doctor one and that baby looks rather creepy and of course you have the same one here but yeah but for a toy for a bear what is this okay blocks so this is something for toddlers school project so these are then the school projects wonder if recommended for teens okay so we have electricity experiment air pressure robotics so i wonder if they're given these projects from school or whether again it's just a um, build mode thing. It'd be really good if they had projects. Um, it gives it again more realistic. I had a couple of projects about World War um, Two and D-Day landings when I was doing my GCSEs. Didn't actually get many projects while I was at school. Um, got plenty. Got plenty in my first semester of university, though. Then we have another little activity we sort of have one like like this but it's this one looks nice it looks a lot more realistic more artsy you then have this reading lamp which would be good for a desk like this then we have some more ceiling lamps here we've got a low hanging one for taller walls So they're gonna be quite nice. Regular old night. Oh, what's this? Does what's rain or shine? Ah, it's a nightlight. Um, do you put it up on a wall? Yes, this that's one you put specifically on a wall. That one again projects stars which i think's really sweet and really nice have a fridge i really like that fridge that fridge looks really really um modern with the ice dispenser in the door then have this old styled oven i really like it reminds me of a couple of the ones my nan used to have and we have dishwasher we have a new bookshelf we have organizer slash bookshelf dresser 
we have more dresses. So that appears to be it in regards to the build mode items. I'm really excited for the build mode items. Um, because of course got a lot more things to make the house look a lot more homey. Um, I really think the night lights, especially that cute little owl one, is going to be very really helpful. Um, things I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of. Private journal. Um, I think I'm going to get a lot out of um, the night lights. The these projects I'm really going to enjoy. This will be interesting to see what it is actually like. So I cannot wait for that. Um. And then of course the bulletin board I'm going to get the moment I have children. I will be doing a parenthood let's play. It's I don't know how it's going to go. Haven't thought much of it yet but I'm really excited for it. But that is it for the build and buy mode. If you've enjoyed it give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments on this video or the creator sim video that should have gone up about the same time as this one then feel free to leave a comment down below and if if you want to check out my parenthood let's play that should be coming soon so to keep up to date with my channel press the subscribe button and I hope you enjoyed this little look into parenthood and hope to see you in my next video. Bye.